Hello and welcome to another Caroline Healy Art how-to video. This one is about uh, making really straight horizon lines for seascapes like this one so that you can make paintings like this one. Okay, you will need some clean water, masking tape, paint and uh, your canvas obviously as well, tape measure or um, a ruler, pencil and two paint brushes um, with flat tops, you can see them better here, flat tops, um, a larger one for putting on the paint and a smaller one uh, for straightening out the horizon line. Uh, these are Montmartre, you can see that. Um, I get them from bargain buys. I find that I ruin my paint brushes within one painting, so I buy them cheap and they just sort of do the same thing. Right, let's get to it. Right, so the first thing you do to get a straight horizon line is measure from the top of the canvas down and mark with a pencil. Doesn't matter um, whether you use inches or centimeters, obviously, because you're just looking for the lines are there in the middle as well. And that. All right. Next, you grab your masking tape. Make sure that you put the tape a tiny bit above the pencil marks so that they get covered up with uh, the dark, darker colour sea paint that you're going to put on top. And do. All right, smooth down your horizon line. Now. You sort of pre-prepared your paint on a palette. See, it's ready to go. I made a lovely um, deep sea colour uh, using Prussian blue, a bit of Southern Ocean blue, and I think I put a bit of white in it. And um, because you want to go dark on the horizon to create um, some depth, and you just Use a flat brush like that, and push down from the top, make sure you go around the edges of your canvas so that you don't have um, any gaps when you finish your piece. All right, going around the edge of the canvas again. Now when you've done that, you take off the tape straight away, peeling upwards. Your line oops, is usually not perfectly straight, so that's where the second brush comes in. This one. Uh, you dip it in water. You pull some of it off. Most of it actually, you make it pretty, pretty dry. And then you just look along the horizon line and any bits which aren't straight, you just make straight. You all have bits that come up. It's okay, you go over them again. That's all looking pretty good. Here's a bit fuzzy. So let's go over it. Whenever it starts making a little mark, I'm just doing this, pulling extra water off my paintbrush. And if it was particularly mucky, I'd just put more water on it again and then pull it all off with my fingers and start again. And there you have it.